What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have another laser pointer review for you guys. This one's going to be the Wicked Lasers Nano Green 532 Nanometer 15 Milliwatt Laser Pointer. So, this one's kind of a bit of a different type of review because, as many of you know, Wicked Lasers does not sell or they don't ship their lasers to the United States anymore, so... I was not able to get my hands on a new one, so I did have to kind of scour eBay until I found one on there, and I did purchase it through there, but what I have is used and it doesn't come with all the original accessories, so I mean I will try my best to do a review um, based on what I have here, but I did just want to disclose that information for you guys. This normally sells on the Wicked Lasers website for $69, the 15 milliwatt green version, and I, the the little expanded lens kit that's an extra thirty dollars on top of that so you're looking at about a hundred dollars if you want the laser and the lens kit now because they don't ship to the US I don't have the lens kit all I have is what I was able to find on eBay that's the laser itself and what came with that was this little holster too I don't really see much on their website about the holster so I'm just gonna assume that comes with it but I'm not sure um, one big thing you're gonna notice about the one I have right here is that the button on it is not the original button the original owner said the original button had fallen off and he super glued this new one on there so I can't really say much about that because I don't know if it fell off because of user error or it just wasn't durable but I'm not really gonna talk much about that the laser itself unscrews on the bottom and it takes two triple a batteries and the material it's made out of is metal I believe it's um I think they call it like air aircraft grade aluminum or some fancy name so it's an aluminum housing and it kind of has this like textured little grooved lines on it kind of cool I kind of like it because it's different and you can see that green color right there 532 nanometer and I'm just gonna um I'm gonna show you guys the safety label because this one does not have the safety label on it this is the safety label it would normally have right here uh, just some basic information about the wavelength and the class of the laser and it says that the power on this one is less than 500 milliwatts this one is the 15 milliwatt version and then they also on their website have a 5 milliwatt green and they also have a 75 milliwatt uh, purple 405 nanometer nano and they also have a 100 milliwatt red 650 nanometer nano and they actually have a kind of neat special offer on their website each one of the nano lasers, the three different colors I just listed, cost $69, but they have a special where you can get all three of them for the price of two, so I thought that was kind of neat. Um, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later on. So moving back to the laser itself, some important things I want to note is that this laser does not have any focusing feature and you won't be able to do any burning with this one, obviously because it's only 15 milliwatts and it's very, um, it doesn't have any focusing feature, so you're not going to really be able to do any burning with it. The button on it is a two mode button. You can either hold it down to have the laser stay on while you're holding the button and then let go to have it turn off. Or you can quickly double tap the button and it will stay on and you don't need to hold it down after that and then you would just click it once to turn the laser off. So I thought that was kind of nice. There's also a little LED right above the button that tells you when the laser is on. And one little um interesting thing to note is I'm not sure if this originally had a UV filter right on the top there. I was watching Barnacle's Nerdgasm's review um, from a couple years back and his did have a little UV filter glued on the uh, top of the laser if you unscrew the little cap and mine doesn't. I'm not sure if somebody had taken it off or if maybe they made some models of this laser without it but I do plan on adding my own UV filter that should be pretty easy and cheap and I'll probably just glue it right on the top there where his was on there. And those two little holes you see right there, those are for actually taking apart the laser. You could stick something like tweezers or a very small set of scissors in there and turn and you could unscrew the laser that way. Um, the little cap right here that I have unscrewed is, uh, this is where the, um, the little lens kit caps would go if I had that. They would screw right on there just like this one screws on there. And one other neat thing is that this laser also has a safety key, that little bump that you see towards the bottom of the laser. That's actually a little safety key that you can pull out, and if you pull it out, nobody will be able to use the laser. So if you had kids that you didn't want like using the laser, you could pull that out and keep it in a safe place. But if you lost it, the laser becomes completely useless, so I wouldn't suggest removing it unless you absolutely need to. And it's actually very difficult to remove anyway. I had to use a sharp knife and scissors just to pull it out of there. So, I mean, I'm not a big fan of that, just of how hard it was to take it out. 
And lastly, they also advertise that this laser has a negative feedback sensor system. And what that means is that you shouldn't see any like flickering or dimming like what you see with some of the cheaper Chinese lasers. This should have one constant brightness from when you turn it on until when the batteries die. And I'm going to move on to showing you guys what this looks like in some different lighting levels. This first one's going to be a normal indoor lit setting, kind of a little bit on the dimmer side. And uh, the beam isn't really visible. That dot is very bright, but you really can't see the beam, even if you're looking directly down the axis of the laser. And moving into a darker area, you can see that dot is still very bright. And I don't know how well you guys can see it, but you can just slightly see the beam. You can see little dust particles being picked up in it as well and kind of flashing. So kind of like in a darker indoor setting, you might be able to see the beam a little bit looking directly down the axis of the laser. And moving on to a midday outdoor setting, you're obviously going to have no beam visibility here. You can just barely see the dot on the ground in the grass if you zoom in. But I mean, you can try to follow the dot with your eye. But in sunlight, this thing's just really not that visible. You can just barely see it, maybe about 50 feet away. Anything outside that range in sunlight, you're not going to be able to see it. It's just not bright enough to be seen during the daytime, and it's not really... I mean, I don't really think you should um, use this if you plan on looking for a laser for daytime use. Moving on to a nighttime setting, this is obviously going to be the um, best time to use it. And a lot of people like this laser specifically for astronomy purposes, but I'll talk about that more in the reviewing aspect. I, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but you can see the beam. Even if you turn it sideways, you can still slightly see it. Definitely not the um, brightest laser. The cheap Chinese lasers, the ones that cost like $5, like the Laser 303, those are around 90 milliwatts, and those are a lot brighter than this, and the beam is a lot more visible. Uh, however, this one, I haven't tested it with my LPM yet, but they advertise 15 milliwatts. So, I mean, if you were looking for something with a little bit of brightness, but you don't want all your neighbors to see you out in the yard um, pointing it in the sky, that you don't want them to see the beam, I mean, this might be what you're looking for because the beam is visible looking down the axis of the laser and kind of sideways, but it's not like crazy visible where different people like in houses nearby will see it in the sky. And one kind of important thing that I do want to make you guys aware of is that the the beam, the diode alignment on this one, it's slightly crooked. I don't know how well you guys can see it on here and I'm trying to show you guys a good shot of it looking down straight down the axis of the laser. It's very slightly crooked and it's not that noticeable but obviously it's not noticeable to me because I'm I'm reviewing it, I'm looking for anything to um, talk about and the beam is definitely slightly crooked on this one. Not as bad as the Wicked Lasers core I reviewed but it is it is crooked and I do I do hate when they're crooked but this one isn't too bad so I'm gonna test it with the LPM right now this is my laser BA LPM and I'm probably gonna fast forward because it does take about 25 to 30 seconds so after about 20 seconds here this laser is exactly um, exactly as specified it's exact spec it's not over spec or under spec it's exactly sitting at pretty much 15 milliwatts so that's pretty cool I'm going to use this to kind of move on to the reviewing aspect of this now. And you do obviously have to take this um, information with a, a bit of a grain of salt because what I have here is a review of a used product. I was not able to get my hands on a new one, so I'm going to do my best here to give you guys whatever information I can. But obviously there are some features and some different things that I wasn't able to review because I wasn't able to get my hands on this new so starting with the pros, I do like that, um, I like the host that this laser's in, I think it's kind of cool and kind of neat looking. I like that this thing is exact spec and it's exactly as advertised, 15 milliwatts. I like that the button is a two mode and you can hit it twice to just keep it on without holding it down. And I like that little safety key. What I don't like about it is how hard that safety key is to remove. Um, I don't like the little cap that you unscrew at the very top of it. It's extremely thin and it feels like if I really exerted some force with my thumb and my finger, I could probably crush it in my hand. So they made that too thin. They got to make that thicker. Um, I really can't say much about the UV filter because I'm not sure if this one had one or not. But I don't like that crooked beam. Obviously, I do think they need to fix that. And what this would be good for, this would be good for an astronomy purpose, like I said. And I know a lot of people out there use it for astronomy purposes because it's not crazy bright but it's bright enough to point things out in the sky at night and the price of $69 is okay but I definitely think they could come down about $15 because I mean the laser 303s while they are so cheaply made and they're not good quality 
they're so cheap I mean they're five dollars and to go from five dollars to sixty nine dollars is quite the jump so I think they got to be a bit more competitive on the pricing I would probably give this product like 7.5 or an 8 out of 10 the aluminum was too thin in some areas like I said the crooked beam kind of bugged me I did like the host and I think they need to come down on the price so that's gonna wrap up my review if you guys found it helpful in any way at all hit that like button down below and if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button for a bunch more great laser reviews just like this and as always guys thank you for watching from XM360